Good afternoon, my crafty friends. This is Debbie again. I am a little behind. <laughs> I'm on day seven. So I just want to also thank everyone that um, has subscribed to my channel. It's very exciting. So I'm hoping you're enjoying these um, videos that I am creating. These are raw videos. I have not cut anything out. I haven't like even like made the video, you know, sped up the video. So, okay, let's just get on with it then. This says, um, Rows arranged their positions and prepared for the changes to come. So let's see, now I have to remember what is the, um, let's see, let's see, what's the ephemera? Oh, here's day seven. It's just kind of, oops, sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> and this is the ephemera. This is so pretty, this aged uh, wallpaper. And this is some more aged wallpaper, the tag, and the uh, little, uh, I guess it's like the little saying from the uh, Crafley Hall story. So, okay. Let's get these pushed out of the way. Now I could use this also. I might um, I'm go ahead and just keep this out. We might use some of that. And then I did go find, I had to go find an old book that I could use for my gluing. So this is just an old Reader's Digest. Has some nice uh, font on it though. I might actually use that also for some of my collaging. And there's the, um, the tags that are hinged together already for you. And then here's some of the pieces that I have chosen. Um, I don't think this, oh, the, I think this is going to be for a different day, actually. Let's go ahead and push that over here. I think that was for when Alice came. And then here's a frame and a chair. And I had, I've, I've actually marked off the area where the uh, camera is showing, so... I'm hoping to stay in camera that way. And then this is, um, I think this is like a silhouette of Rose here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can't use that. This is, I think this is from the extra ephemera that was included with the uh, kit that you purchased. And this is going, look at all of this. <laughs> This just remind me of all of this repair work that needs to be done. So let's see here. This is a uh, folder. I was thinking about putting that in here. Or maybe we could do it this way. Or hmm. decisions, decisions. That would make that rather thick. But I actually did fussy cut like this chest out and this chair and the frame. Just showing that um, she's arranging her possessions. So let's see. I could add put this tag on the front with the little saying. Maybe like a chair. That might be kind of cute, huh? Let's see, I, I ink these a little bit. I might ink them a little bit more. This is kind of big. And then I also have this. So I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. I guess we should just get going, huh? Here's a little piece of the, uh, what is this stuff called again? I can't remember the name of this. Hmm. Well, 
it'll come to me later. <laughs> I think we're, I think I'm just going to take some paper. I just like these insides covered up a little bit. No, I could use some, um, maybe I'll just use the, some in the book here. Oh, we probably should take this, uh, take some of the edges off. I do like this though. That's kind of cool. Maybe not. I'm going to just use that. I like that on there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the back of this. I do want to put the glue stick on there. I've seen that little scatter brain this morning, this afternoon, don't I? <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, that day, I am trying to remember what day is missing now. I think it was day five. Um, I realize what happened. Um, I think my camera got overheated and it would not, it would not load. So I would kind of have to just move on and just, you know, know that if your camera's overheated and I think, I guess that cause I was charging it with a non Oh, plug is what I is what it, I think what's happened I'm not 100% I'm not <laughs> I'm no expert when it comes to that stuff so I'm just guessing that's what happened Let me get that glue back on there okay where'd the paper go okay this is notorious there oh kind of like chapter one Ooh, maybe we'll do chapter one I don't even know if that's going to show. Oh, well, we're just going to go for it. And then I'll just trim all that down. Well, I don't think I got all the glue on there. But I do like this caramel color paper. It's nice. I didn't have to do anything to it. Let me get all that, that down. I'm going to leave that on there and go this way with it. I like that. Make sure there's glue on there. I don't know. I'm picking up threads from somewhere. It's probably that uh, jute. Let's see. I'll just go the other way with this. Have a little bit of text up there. Ooh, look at see that caramel. Ooh, I like that. It's nice. Okay, they're the white of the inside of the tag, the little folder there is covered up. So that's what we wanted. And I like to use the um, my craft knife for this, which I've misplaced again. <laughs> Boy, that thing just gets away from me. Okay, we'll use my. I think it's called a gyro. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Guess I should get the names of these things. The light pressure. This paper's not very um, thick at all. Just it's a just a regular book page, and it is on the older side. I just run it across, and usually that's just enough to get it going. And we'll turn it around the other way. Yeah, see, that just comes right off. There's not a lot of pressure, so that's why I like this. These old pages that we're not going to do anything with, or nobody's going to read. It's just nice to um, use them in a different way. Use them as backgrounds, part of collaging. For like covering up all this white that we have going on here. Like I said, you guys, this guy wrote is not, I think they use these for like fussy cutting. Um, it kind of does work. 
but when it's a little bit thicker than paper, you have to give it a little bit of pressure. So, I don't know. Let me know, do you guys use anything like this? And then we're hung up there for some reason. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's where I pulled on it. Oh, we'll just clean that up in a minute. I got this book out to use for... Oh, we're going to leave that edging on there. That's kind of nice looking, huh? Yeah. And then I have scissors to clean up any edges that kind of went away. <laughs> right. So if you guys see washi tape stuck on my uh, mat, it's because I'm trying to stay in the camera. Stay with the camera. Okay, so let's see. Use the bowling. Oh, you know what? I didn't even do that, did I? I'm supposed to fold that. Press that down. I'm just leaving this part of the book page hanging out. I kind of like that look. Let's see. We're probably going to have to clean this up. I do hope you guys are enjoying these. Sometimes I feel a little scatterbrained when I haven't done anything off camera. Then I start feeling a little scatterbrained. But you guys are hanging in there with me. I truly appreciate it. Oh, I like that little caramel in there. Yeah. Let's fold it back the other way too. I don't know. I just like making these little folders like this. I know there's um, other people that are doing different things, but you know, I like it all. It looks so nice. So let's see here. Here we go. I think I did decide to put this on. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to ink up the edges before we forget. And where's that little? There we go. It's a dauber, I believe these are called. And then they make some too for the uh, stenciling. But I do have a, um, I think it's a makeup applicator that this works also. So. Oh, maybe I could put some of that on here. What do I have over here? I like the curly cues. Do I have the curly cues over here? Oh, I thought about it over here. I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll just do the. Uh, I guess this is like kind of looks like a crackled um, wall or something, ceiling wall. So we'll try to rub that in there. Oh, just a little bit, huh? This seems to like, I don't, I'm trying not to get it to make a big old spot there. I'll do it there and on this side. And since it's a wall, I'm going to kind of keep it up on top. And this is some brick. This is actually like a Halloween stencil from Stamper Anonymous. Jim Holt collection. Let's see. This actually came with uh, stamps and the stencil. People give out numbers and stuff when they show things that they've used. Hmm. There's no number on here. Halloween. It's just Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. Stamp stencil. There's a, I think I used the cat. I just kind of just used the cat in different areas in the bat. That was kind of fun. So there's that. And these are just these are numbers. And then that's just another one of Tim Holtz. 
Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, mine doesn't do, I don't think mine does as great as job, but we're just going to go with it. I think, maybe, I don't know if I can smear this around a, a little bit more. Oh, we have some, you can see where I hit it with that, but that's okay. And let's see, is this all inked up? Oh yeah, this is inked up. Huh? And I thought I might distress this a little bit more with my scissors. I don't really have one of those distressing tools, but you can really get some distressing going here and get it ripped. I mean, see so it even like tore it a little bit with the edge of the scissors. You just have, you know, you want to be careful. You don't want to cut yourself. So now I want to go in. This piece here. See if I can get this darkened up there. Well, maybe I'll just tear that off. There we go. I'm really distressed up there. Not sure what's working better here. Oh yeah, the dauber worked better. And then you just go back in where you've uh, distressed. Make sure you get cover up the white. By doing that, you've exposed the white, so. I'm having so much fun now with these, um, like different days, of what's going on. And Tracy, give us the little piece, you know, the little saying from the book, and where to go. Hmm. And then I misplaced, oh, here it is. Maybe I'll go off to the side with it, kind of expose that, um, those flowers. Or maybe, maybe I'll rip one of the sides. Just so, it's kind of hiding a lot of the, um, wallpaper that I like. We always use that for something else. Oh yeah, I like that. Just for something different. You could actually kind of leave that open as a pocket. There's all kinds of different, and once you start doing these, you just kind of, oh, I could do that. So, do we need a pocket right there? Well, I'll just, we could just leave it as a pocket. Okay, I'm going to toss that aside and just screw it up on the new piece. So I don't have glue all over my project. And then my uh, art glitter glue is what I like to use for the pocket. Let's see. What do... I, need to, I need to figure out what side I'm going to leave exposed for the pocket. Oh, we'll do this side. That's going to be a short area inside the pocket, but that's okay. There we go. Just wet this down with the dry cloth, works best. If you use a wet cloth, it'll smear the um, distressed oxide. So, just, I mean, if that's what you want, well, it's perfectly okay. Your paper does become a little bit uh, soft though and it'll tear easily. So, just you know, be warned about that. Let's see, that needs like more, maybe I should wet that. Or you know what? I I keep forgetting to use like my lace and stuff. I'll put a little piece of lace up there to hide that, maybe. Mm, no. Okay, let's see here. I do you want to kind of
kind of go in. I wonder, do I have a pin or something over here? So let's try to get that a little bit more, a little darker. Oh, there we go. I like that. That's really dark. Oh, I like that. Off. There we go. Now we have a pocket. I don't know if you want that as a pocket or something else. There's so much going on. Oh, there's a trunk. Maybe this trunk can be like a card. It's something that um, her possessions would come in. That makes sense to me. Just use my little cutter here, get some straight edges. Or the card. Yeah, the the card, um, it'd probably be a little difficult for in and out if it didn't have some straight edges. Just trying, I just don't want any of the white on there. And this could be a little journaling card. Don't think that went very straight. Then you do, I think I have my corner rounder over here. Did I bring it out? I did, yay. And this does to um, kind of soften up the edges a little bit for your little card to go in. And then you could, um, this will be good for writing your own little story. And get the right edges off. There we go. Quick little card. You could put um, something on here to pull it in and out a little bit easier. I could just snip that and glue that on. And then we just, you know, fry it. This is just an old piece of. Um, was an old piece of, you know, like one of those, um, it's just a cotton, like, dish towel type material. Or, uh, you know what, I think it was actually a napkin. It was just, um, and it was cotton, and so I uh, coffee dyed it. I need to do that again. I'm running out of papers. See, do it like that. Oh. It's wrinkly there and not wrinkly there. Oh well. Up on top. Yeah, I think up on top would probably be a little bit better. And you know what? I am going to get up really quick and go get my stapler. I think the staple will look good. Oh, I don't know if I've told you guys this or not before, but I love going thrift shopping. You find all kinds of interesting things that people have discarded. Just put it right there. And this stapler um, is something somebody no longer wanted, probably because it was old. I don't know, it still works. Maybe they just didn't need that in their home office or maybe it was in a business office. And it still works. Okay, there we go. Let's see it's holding. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> didn't realize that was on there. Okay. Yeah, it's going to come out. A little bit because of the uh, where I torn the area there. That's okay. Okay, so let's see. I do kind of want this on the outside. I like having these on the outside just because it tells me about the day. I think it'll fit a little bit better up here. A little bit up the, on the pocket and out of the pocket. So we'll do that. 
like I said, these guys, these old um, book pages really work wonders for protecting your area from a bunch of glue. I mean, you can wash it off, but it just kind of saves, you know, a little bit of cleaning. And I have a habit of I'll, I'll set it right in the glue, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll have that just a little bit angled. There we go. I just like having these on the outside. You know, other people have been doing all kinds of um, creative, really creative things with theirs. It's kind of awesome. So I just, you know, uh, mine just creativity actually just comes from doing. So I just have to, you know, just start doing something. I need to get this glue back sealed up. Okay, this was working and now it's not working. It's stainless steel. It's not rusting. So <laughs> it's just a. Um, it's just a little dragonfly um, earring, actually. Is what it is. I think if I leave it off a little for any length of time, it'll it starts drying there at the tip. So gotta remember to get that back on there. Okay, let's see here. What do we put in at the center? I don't know if this will fit in there. Vellum. <laughs> That's what that was vellum. Okay, this probably has to come out. And this can be uh, covered up if we want it for writing space with some uh, either white craft paint or gesso or something like that. So this, oh, this barely fits in here. Okay, I think I'm going to use that. I like it. You know, I know what I was thinking about before. I was opening this up. Okay, this might be a little bit longer than what I usually do, but this is, I did want to do this. I remember that now. I wanted to open up this cabinet and put something in there. Let's see. And this is cardstock, so I do have to press just a little bit harder. Hopefully I don't go too far past that. Oh, I think it went through. Let's see. Yep, it went through. Let's see, I think the bottom is straight. I'm trying to figure out where the doors are actually going to open. <laughs> actually has a little bit sharper blade on it. There we go. Okay, I went here. I think trying to figure out where this is supposed to open. There we go. I think I got it. I mean, even if you go, I go a little bit past the area, it's not going to be any big deal. Oh yeah, I can't use that. These are not straight up here. These are curvatured. Now this is gonna be the tricky part. It's like, see, can I stay on where I need to stay on? Hmm, not too bad. All right. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, scoring board. And, uh, it just makes life so much easier. You don't have to have one of these. And I haven't always had this. But it just really makes it a lot easier. Let's see. Is I going to line up properly? We don't know. Let's get going here. <laughs> nope. I had to move that a little bit. Look at how fun that is. It opens. Oh, now I gotta do some, I gotta <laughs> do something with the inside there. Oh, that was not too bad. Okay. 
I apologize, you guys. My um, my thumb camera is on. It's not a stiff arm, kind of. I can hit it and it moves all over the place. That's kind of fun, though. Okay, I did something a little different. All right, let's see here. Let's see, you've got to get something on the doors, though. That's too. Uh, that's too white. Well, maybe I could um, just do the crackle. Maybe I'll do it the right way and then even grab some of the brick. That'll be fine. Let's see here. Just so it's not so white. Oh, I think I set that up a little bit. Oh, well. Be gentle, be gentle. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. I mean, the inside of it is white, but that's all right. No, is it? Not gonna take too long. A little tool really helps me. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, we don't want to close the doors. So how about if we leave them open? Oh, did we want to put something? You know, I have this um, here, but I don't know if it's actually going to fit. I would that look funny, the drawers there, but... You know, one side of this would fit. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. Okay, I might want to leave a little bit of stuff in there just so I have something to glue. Yeah. I think what I'll do is make dark in the bottom part of it. And then that way, if anything, I can always squish it up a little bit. Let me know if you're following any other uh, crafters that are doing this uh, Tracy Fox collaboration. Oops. Well, all right. Just I'm having a really good time with this. I don't think we need to keep it down there. Okay, looks good. And it'll um, the glue if you if we have any there it'll um, it'll dry clear. So. That's no big deal. And she goes her her wardrobe. She's um, arranging. Where did there? Look, I am going to. We'll get this extra off. This does take some practice too. 
<laughs> just letting you know. This little guy roving does take practice. That was inked up or not, but I'm gonna do it again because I see white. Oh, that could be just the white that I just did. Oh, yeah, the doors, huh? Maybe a little interaction there. This looks better, I think, with it all inked up. Get rid of the white. We don't want the white right now. Oh. Yeah, that's part of that wardrobe that I cut there. It's showing. Okay, there we go. And there it is. I'll just glue that on there. I'm going to use the glitter glue. Yeah, I guess I'll put the chair on the other side. Just kind of some random items that she's moving in. I really like this um, this tip on these. I would probably have glue everywhere if I didn't have this little nice little tip. Yeah, that's probably gonna break off. I'm probably gonna have to figure out something else. <laughs> but for now. This one happens to be a dried out um, baby wipe. There you go. Let's just do that like that. I like it. Let's see. I guess we'll just put the chair. This is really the only thing, other thing that I have out. I guess we could just put it like there. I, I like that chapter one showing. I don't know if I should put, oh, you know, I could use this over here. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's just do that. I just have to play around with things and see. Oh, it's going to work. Right, that's way too much white. <laughs> see if I can get some of that off. I'm going to go the other way. I can get that off of there. Maybe we we'll just use up whatever we've taken off. Little scraps. regular sheets, but that's okay. It's going to be part of the wallpaper. It needs to be replaced. And I, I don't know, this chair kind of is just hanging there, huh? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I wonder if we just put that under there. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Ooh. I'm going to put the chair here on the hallway. <laughs> chair goes in the hallway, right? 
It just looks good as a background. Okay, let's see. Um, almost there. I know some people like writing spaces, some people don't care. I just, I kind of gone back and forth with this as far as the writing spaces go. You can always add writing space though. Oh, I covered up my chapter, huh? Oh well. I kind of like that. Okay, oops, sorry. Oof, I know this. Sorry about that. And then my Scotch permanent glue stick. This is just my preference. Do you guys have a preference of glue? You guys can let me know in comments. Um, there's some other glues out there. Um, oh, that uh, what's that fabric tag or I think that's what it's called. That stuff is um, <laughs> I don't like it because it's a volcano. I have not found a good way to close it up. And then there, I will use it though if I'm using fabric. Like sometimes you have to use it. <laughs> and then some people use the uh, the aqua 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 glue i haven't used that one i haven't tried it i should try it so i have so i have an opinion about it okay let's see here Get this on there that chair just looked like it was just like hanging in space it needed something to ground it so that's why I did this. And then also on the back of these um, cards, um, you could put like uh, gesso or paper, or something on there if uh, you want to add something for writing. Could, oh, you could write on here if it's not too. Had a dark pen. Okay, was this inked? It doesn't look like it was inked very well, I should say. It looks inked, but it has white. Okay, hopefully guys, you like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this collaboration of Tracy's. I love it. I think it's great. And she's um, produced some very, very, I think, pretty, well, I don't know, pretty spooky, <laughs> spooky-ish pages in ephemera. So I kind of like the ceiling showing also. up any of those that little legs on there probably could peel right back up on me okay there's the chair of her furniture she's moving in and there's the trunk that some of her clothes came in or maybe all of her clothes and this does have the writing spot there we go okay you guys let me know what you think and thanks so much for watching and happy crafting bye bye